is going on everyone? My name is Jared and I wanted to do this video last week, but I couldn't do it with my iPhone 10. We were trying to jailbreak. Jailbreak has been all the rage the past couple weeks since Electra had released their semi-untethered uh, jailbreak for iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1 official and then 11.4 up to beta 3. So on my iPhone 10, I was on iOS 12, so I had to try to downgrade to iOS um, 11.4 beta 3, which was fine. It was successful because Apple is still signing that firmware, but it just wouldn't jailbreak. It just wouldn't do it. It was impossible. I tried for several hours, did all the tricks, all the tips. And so this one, I'm going to show you exactly what I did, uh, exactly how I did it. And this took four tries. It took a total of about five minutes couple of restarts and just a few suggestions by Coolstar himself. So as you can see, here's Cydia. Oh, I gotta turn off airplane mode. Um, so once it's successful, you will see Cydia. This is the tweak store and there it is, loads up and everything. And if you look down at the bottom, you see it is 11.3.1. So it just seems like 11.3.1 was a more stable jailbreak to have it happen. And this is Cydia. So for people who used to jailbreak, the easy way with uh, Absinthe and all those other jailbreak methods. This is probably the next easiest thing. So it is semi-untethered and what that means is if you reboot your device, you will have to go back into the jailbreak app, which is Electra right here. And where it says already jailbroken, you will just hit enable and then everything will work. But let's backtrack just a little bit and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So this is the no computer method. You don't have to have a Mac, you don't have to have a PC. You can do it right from your device. So first things first, you're gonna to go to Safari and you're gonna to go to this website, ignition.fun. So this is not uh, This is the Electra app. You download it right from Safari, it's really easy. And the one that I got to work was the Electra version 1.0.3. Uh, the MPTCP jailbreak. So you click this, you click install. I already have it, so I'm not gonna show you that. And then it's gonna pop up with this icon right here. What it's gonna do is gonna not allow you to open the app. And what it's gonna actually do is you're gonna have to trust the profile. So being that this is using a multi-path exploit, you need to trust a profile. So you're gonna go into your settings. You're gonna go to general. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says device management or profiles and this enterprise app, mine says delete, yours will say trust or allow. So you press that, it's for the Electra app. You go back, uh, what they recommend at this point is that you go to your control panel, control center, enter airplane mode. From there, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your settings. You're gonna go scroll over to Siri, not touch ID. You're going to go to Siri and you're going to turn all this off. So all your toggles should look like this. They recommend that. Uh, I really don't know why I'm putting it back on right now because I, I certainly have already did it. Um, you turn that off and then you reboot your phone. So you can either hold your power, turn it off, or you can hard restart it. Whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. So from there, Your phone will come back on. You're gonna to go to the Electra app where it says already jailbroken. It will say jailbreak. You will press that. It's gonna go through three steps. Uh, basically, if it has an issue, it'll happen on step one or step two. And what'll happen is step, if it hangs on step one, it can either say error exploit, which means the exploit didn't run properly. So what you gotta do from there is hard restart your phone or just normally restart, reboot your phone. No big deal, try it again. Make sure you're still in airplane mode. Make sure you still have Siri toggled off. Uh, if you get to step two with a black screen, uh, that means it may or may not have worked. That means you could go home and you can get to your home screen, but when you open Electra, it's just black. So from there, you can double tap and clear it out of your system tray and go back and try it again. If it doesn't still black screen, restart your phone. If you get past those two, it's gonna say installing Cydia and it'll actually come up and say restarting. After it restarts, you'll boot up and you'll have the Cydia icon. And it's actually pretty easy. So like I said, I tried for hours on my uh, iPhone 10, and it just wouldn't do it. It just, 
no matter how many things I tried, I tried the VFX exploit, I tried the, the multipath exploit. They're saying that multipath has the higher success rate uh, because it's using a different sort of exploit to get it done versus VFS. Not that it's not functional with VFS, but they're just saying that one's better. So my suggestion to you, and this is on 11.3.1, um, if you have it on 11.3.1, I would stay on 11.3.1. It seems a lot more stable. Um, you can see all these videos online because I actually looked at a bunch to make this happen. Say, oh, all the tips and tricks, you know, put your device in the freezer, um, you know, turn off everything, sign out, you know, all these little tips and tricks and, you know, different hacks or whatever you want to call it to get it done. What it seems to me is that it just has a very low success rate and they are updating the app, so make sure you have the latest and greatest before you do it. But it just seems to happen when it wants to happen. So like I said, this took four tries. Uh, you can read online on Reddit and things, on blogs, that people took one try. There's people like me with my iPhone 10 that took 100 tries and still didn't work. So really, I would say if you're on 11.3.1, .1, it should work pretty quick. The betas seem to be more finicky. So if you're thinking about updating, Take into consideration it may not actually successfully work. Uh, it may take a long time. It may, it may not. It's kind of a crapshoot at this point. But I can say for certain it works with this. Remember, once you restart, reboot your phone, you'll have to go back into Electra and hit enable to make all your tweaks work. And I look forward to bringing you guys a new video with my favorite tweaks and things to change within uh, iOS 11 here. You make sure you obviously don't update from this because we don't know when we'll get another jailbreak for uh, still being on a very recent firmware. So it's not like this is for iOS 10. This is very current, only been outdated for a couple weeks now. So certainly important. If you want to mess with your device, stay on this. And if you really want to, go to the beta and try your luck with that. Like I said, that's do at your own risk because I didn't have luck, but you might. So anyway, my name was Jared. And I hope this helped you guys. It was pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, Ignition.fun seems to be a very uh, reputable and easy way to do it rather than trying to sign in with a developer account, which I do have, but um, this will make it so you don't have to re-sign it all the time because if you just do the normal one from your computer, the VFS exploit, and type in just your iTunes username and password, you're gonna have to update that app every seven days, and that's gonna be a pain in the butt. So, again, I thank you for watching, and I will continue to bring you some updated coverage on what I'm going to put on this Insidia. So, thanks again.